My name is Roman Kowalski. I'm founder of CheckPermits.com. So this company is born from my personal experience. Uh, back a few years ago, we bought a foreclosed home, and we had to deal with contractors. We had to find both who, you know, do some different renovations on the house. So basically, question is, how do you know who can be trusted? Out of both contractors who come to the house, how do you know what projects we did in past? What we charge? What we work in history? It's kind of pain for anyone who has a house and ever had to deal with contractors. So the industry currently offers few, you know, huge companies like Angelist, which rely on online reviews. <coughs> Problem with them, but online reviews are scarce. 10 to 20 for most of contractors. So you can obviously bias them. If, you bring, if I bring 10 friends and ask them to vote for my company, I easily pick up to the top of the list. So I would like to do something which relies on hard data. So luckily for us, the United States government, many town halls adopted what is called open data platform. So we utilize this platform, we grab information on the permits and we analyze them. So now we can say, okay, these contractors are doing business in my neighborhood and this is no more word of mouth because it's still hard to believe that 21st century we rely on word of mouth to find a contractor for a job. So that's one problem. We have to find a contractor who can be trusted, not on those words of mouth, but some verifiable information. And more this information is better. Uh, I would also like to see for whoever is doing repairs, see their past work history, including prices. And anyone who did home repairs knows that it's nearly impossible to get out this information of contractor for you know, different competition reasons, because we try to compare projects based on the town, on the income, how house looks like, and stuff like that. Very subjective matters. Also, I am an engineer, so I like to see hard data. So whenever I see a price going on for repairs, I would like to know if that is a fair price. And also, which is quite interesting, when would be a good time to run home renovations? Time of the year. So, what we offer? We, we grab a lot of data. Currently, there are over 20 million records in our database. We analyze those records. We extract contractor information in the them only based on official government data. So, no biased reviews are involved. Even though users are leaving online reviews, they aren't impacting our rank. Also, for whoever contractor I like to hire, I can see his past work history. I can see actual addresses, project descriptions, and costs for projects he has completed. Uh, we also show analytics, which I personally love the most. So we can show for different types of projects, cost distribution, Whoever is familiar, we will see our normal distribution graphs. We will also show, as I said, time of the year to best do the repairs. So I'll go with a real-life demonstration. So that is our website. Uh, basically, we have a relatively big coverage of the United States. All these dots mean uh, towns where we have records. So if you go to, say, San Francisco, let's actually go to Boston. We are located in Boston. So let's start from Boston. So Boston. So in Boston, say I'm doing a roof report for my house. So I'll type a roof which is quite general, but we will see later how we can reduce uh, the searches of and do search. So immediately we will see the list, it's just a sample. Those are first hundred records for whoever did uh, roof repairs in the town. Now, I can look at the contractors based on whoever did roofs, pick them, go to where information page and see what we do exactly. 
what were past work history. So say for instance I picked an Irene Chapulonsky. So he has been active since 2010. You see his project cost is well, it's quite big, so he might be a commercial contractor. Most of his jobs are in Boston, and the most interesting part is we actually see home repairs he has completed. So we can see what he is usually charging. So I basically, whoever I bring to my home, I know I am in line with what he is charging. He's not overcharging me. I can also, if I'm curious, if I see some uh, job apps, say, for instance, this project is quite expensive. So let's see. let's see what is going on here at this address. This must be, well, this must be a church or commercial building, so that might explain the size, the price he has charged. And well, also, as a home buyer, it's an interesting aspect. As a home buyer, if I'm buying a house, I can see permits pulled for this house. Now, obviously, if I'm doing a door lock repair, there will be no permit for that. Only big jobs are there, but that's exactly the liability I'm trying to research when I'm buying a house. I'm looking for big li potential liabilities I might have. So recently I had a realtor from New York contacting me, and he was looking for uh, client, uh, client names, done uh, repairs on a particular house, so it's another aspect of this job. So now I'm going to demo now. Last You're out of time. Well, it's the most interesting one. <laughs> so I'm doing a roof repair, and I want to know what is the good price for a roof, say, in San Francisco. normal distribution graph, which also tells me the average price, ongoing price for roof. So once again, it depends on the coverage, you know, roofs are, all roofs are different, but on average what people are paying. We also tell you when is the best time, price-wise, of a year to run a roof repair or renovation, and when most people are doing this repair. You can also see the precision of our calculations based on number of projects here. Well, so let's pretty much wrap it up. <laughs>
some of what I mean by declarative, they don't represent the actual value. But that's my minority. More questions? One last. One more question. Uh, just some feedback. I would actually like to see more search options as a user. Um, I could see myself getting very frustrated not being able to find uh, the right thing. And I think that would be really helpful. Like One that would be really useful would be a neighborhood. Be able to say, I want to search in this neighborhood. So in Boston, we have neighborhoods. We once again, we just don't expose them as search criteria. Not to initially, we were exposed, but then I just closed it up, just to simplify it. So it's question again. Further you go, user might get you know feel overwhelmed feeling versus you know technical or person what is called from the street. You want it simple on one hand, you want it more complicated for more advanced users, so that you end up. Thank you very much, take comments. Thank you.